When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions. Cornwall's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Have a look, Sunan. if you ask me.
These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Ah! Oh, ah! Damn it! Fighting here about what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well.
A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. door that would love to meet his key. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. <sighs> Fresh air. about this land, my friend. I should be cautious around here. I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. Hunt in the walls of Lindsay and whore in Botolston. Too right, too right. With idle time. 
Grab some ale and let's skin some animals later. Prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? This biscuit has been dry for some time, sister. How long has the Elderman been dead? Dead is such a drastic word. I like to think of my lord as... transformed. That's not untrue. Have you need of anything? Hoonwald deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald in Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I am Dane, not a cruel grief monger. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Those are the will of
Eivor! What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbeor's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You are now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain, last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here, and it falls to King Cheovolv to make that choice. For once we find agreement, Eivor. The nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your shy moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. I do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ, or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbeor's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her.
Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Hunwald loved you like family, and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oaths and ale work better than your prayers and saints. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him. Survey the area soon. That must be the tree Atcha mentioned. Hunwald may be nearby. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. Here, upon this spot. Ducking and hiding through the rush of... <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Hunwald. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <gasps> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. An outsider whose people ravaged his shire? I think he would have hated me. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To you, Hunwald. You have love in your heart and hope in your eyes. That's more than many can say. Eivor, I... I can't begin to... All right, Lord. You're all right. Skull! <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should 
visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. Down. They're close. Hide or fight, Hunwald! Now! That's twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. Yeah. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought 
thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. <laughs> 